Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a spring haul. So I have some spring fragrances as well as a spring fashion haul. I'm gonna do both in today's video, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be too long. I'm gonna start out with the fragrances in case that's what you're here for. Then um, please enjoy that first. If you're here for all of it, thank you so much. Please watch to the end. And if you're here just for the clothing haul, then you can skip right ahead. So let's just jump right into it because we have so much to cover. Okay, so the two main fragrances that I'm so excited um, are these two. I'm going to talk about them shortly, probably the last two fragrances. So if you are interested in a short little unboxing, um, this is what you have to look forward to. But otherwise, I will be starting with three other fragrances that I'm super excited to share with you. But um, yes, these are going to be the last two. So stay tuned for that. Okay. First fragrance I'm going to share with you is this one here. This is from Hugo Boss. This is Boss Orange Sunset. This, okay. So let's just unbox it and talk about it. I feel like nobody talks about this fragrance. I came, I don't even know how I came across this fragrance. Um, but here it is. This is the 50 ml. Look how cute the box is. I can kind of smell something through the box. I hope it hasn't leaked or anything. I hope it's, they just sprayed it. So the bo bottle is quite exquisite, if I must say. It's got the boss right here on the glass. And it's kind of fun. It kind of reminds me almost of like the Paco Rabanne fame. Kind of, kind of looks like a little robot head. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's really cute. So let's go ahead and spray that. Oh, where are we gonna spray today? Cause I long sleeves again but um let's do maybe like the inner the wrist the wrist i don't know maybe i'm not gonna maybe do the hands just like here 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 okay yeah so let's start on the inside of the arm this is like someone added a sparkling quality to Donna Born in Roma from Valentino. I can see it being labeled by most as generic, like I will say that, but, and I probably wouldn't repurchase this once this bottle runs out because I have the, the larger size of Born in Roma already. And they've got that similar kind of a vibe, but it's cute. I feel like it's gonna be an easy reach, like a go-to kind of a fragrance. While I have this, I think I will enjoy it, but I don't think I will be rushing out to repurchase it. But if you like Born in Roma, you're looking for like um spring summer version, this is this is a good one. So this I'm honestly, they come out with so many flankers of that. I wouldn't even be surprised if this was like if you told me this was one of the flankers. So that's a cute one. Next we have from Revolution. They have a line of fragrances, and this one is called Passion. Um, they have quite a few, but this is the one that like most seemed most appealing to me. So I picked this one up. So we'll see how it goes and if I will be picking up any more. I'm going to make this a quick one because I do got to rush out in a bit. But this is Passion. Ooh, the bottle is so cute. Kind of stuck but it reminds me of the kaoli bottles i don't know if it's just me okay i'm just gonna put this box on the ground i don't know what to do with it okay okay do two sprays of that one it's a cute bottle okay so this smells very similar to tom ford's black orchid it's chocolatey, it's rich, it's got that patchouli, the spices. Um, and it almost smells like rose, but I don't think there's rose in this. I mean, I don't know. But it's woody, slightly sweet. Um, but it's definitely not a sugary gourmand kind of a sweet. It's just, I don't know. I You know what? It, it is good for the, the spring here where I live, but... The traditional kind of spring, I would say maybe not 
unless it's like the beginning of a spring, like the winter spring kind of transition. Definitely not a summer fragrance. This is definitely like cooler months, but it smells like kind of the inside of a hippie shop. I think it's the patchouli. So I feel like you'll either love or hate this um, because it's quite a distinctive scent. Mm, so if you don't know whether you'll like Black Orchid because it is quite expensive, I would say give this one a try because I feel like this will definitely let you know whether you would like that kind of a scent. Um, for me, I feel like I could wear this as an everyday scent. I don't know if a lot of people would agree with that because it definitely kind of falls under like the night out kind of a genre of a fragrance. Um, and yeah, I would say most people would say it's a nighttime fragrance, but for me, um, I would wear it any time of day. I don't think it would be office friendly though. So let's just put it that way. So that is Revolution's Passion. I like the bottle. Okay, next up we have Armani's Ocean de Joya. I've done like a review on this fragrance before, a long time ago, but I finally pulled the trigger and got the full bottle. I did a review on the sample, but I just thought this season, upcoming season, would be so perfect. Look how cute. Oopsie, sorry. Look how cute this bottle is. Love it. Let's go ahead and spray it here. Mm, maybe here. Mm, the opening is a touch soapy, kind of like shampoo-like. Obviously very clean. I think it's Lily of the Valley. It's giving that clean kind of a vibe, but it softens quite quickly. And it reads as sweet, gentle, and juicy, airy, kind of like clean laundry. It's giving me those types of vibes or like freshly washed hair. It smells like that. If you like those types of scents, you're gonna love this. <sighs> I'm getting fragrant blooms. It's so pleasantly refreshing. Is it groundbreaking? No, <laughs> but it's kind of like florals for spring, you know? It, this is just, I think it's a quintessential spring fragrance, but I also think this would be great in the summer, definitely for spring, summer. I don't see this as a fall, winter scent. Yeah, so is it unique? No, the price tag, it's a little hefty, but is it nice? 100% yes, and I recommend this on even warm summer nights when you wanna have like, Actually, you know what? I disagree. Not just for spring and summer. I think this would also be great for those days, maybe when it's not spring or summer, that you just want to brighten your morning, brighten your spirits. This is a good one. So that is Armani's Ocean de Joya. Love that. Okay, then we're going to move on to Adele. Now this is the intense version. 50 ml. Let's unbox that together. I'm making such a mess here, but I just, my big Zara, Zara bag is waiting. So, oh my God, I love this bottle. So I did get, I know a lot of people get the little teeny one, but in I did get the, the big one, the 50 ml. Look how beautiful this bottle is. Is it not? Like even the back, like it's so gorgeous. Love it. So that's Edol Intense. Let, let's go ahead and spray that. I don't want to open this. I don't want to break it because it looks so delicate. Okay, so it's just like this. It, you don't spray it from here. <laughs> Two sprays of that. This is rosy from the initial spray quite dewy and transparent the photo the rose is very photorealistic it's green and fresh and it's enhanced by like some citrus possibly orange I'm not I'm gonna list all the notes below so definitely check that I don't have any other notes here with me 
As a rose lover, I was really keen to try this and I'm definitely not disappointed. Even though I do typically prefer richer rose or scents, this is a little lighter on the rose. This is, it's wonderfully light and fresh. It's, it's natural smelling and it's just effortlessly beautiful. That's how I would describe this fragrance. Um, this is a great feminine fragrance for spring or summer, everyday type of a scent. And if you're a rose fan, you're gonna love this. So this, this is a five out of five for me, okay? Love that, okay. This bottle, oh good, it's got a thicker bottom because I was a little worried. Um, I know people talked about like how they were gonna stand this up, but you can stand it up. Yeah, it stands up nice and solid. Okay, cool. Okay, and then last but not least, we have YSL's Libre, not the intense, this is just the regular. Also a 50 ml, this is the EDP, the other perfume. Oh my God, the bottle, box, sorry, love it. It's almost like a leather embossed type of a box. Love it with the YSL, so cute. And da -da 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 how gorgeous is this bottle? 10 out of 10 for bottle, that's for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and spray that. Ooh. This is definitely a love it for sniff. In my opinion, this is way better than, I know um, a lot of people compare this Libre to Nishani's um, Templo, which is, it's similar, um, but this is, is, this is so much smoother. This is just so luxurious. There's this like dreamy kind of vanilla element. And there's even like a metallic, a metallic something in here, but I adore this and so it's also got this rubbery vibe, okay? So I'm gonna admit that I love whatever this rubbery thing is. Um, that being said, I'm aware that this is not for everyone and then maybe not everyone's gonna enjoy this like weird rubbery kind of vibe I get from it. But yeah, so perhaps maybe try this before blind buying. So yeah. Gorgeous, this is a YSL's Libra. Okay, so that's my quick little perfume haul. Moving on to, because this is the big one, and I don't, oh my God, I don't have a lot of time left. So guys, I did manage to get everything into this bag. Believe it or not, this is my whole Zara spring haul um, for this year. I, I got 22 items and I managed to fit all of them in here. This bag is so heavy, it's double bagged. And I even have three pairs of shoes and a bag in there, if you can imagine. But let's just start, we're just gonna pull stuff out. First thing I got, I got this pair of like white satin, no, not white, cream off-white kind of satin pants. The zipper is here to the side, as you see. They're high-waisted with these pockets. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember how much I got these for because the price tag came off the little thing. But anyways, that's the first item. Love these pants. I think they're gonna be great for spring, transitioning it even into summer. We'll put them over here. Then I got the skirt. And it's like, uh, so I got this, what did, got this in a medium. This was $65. And it's this like, pretty hard to explain. So it's this like, kind of like suede. It's almost like a suede material, but not really. It's very heavy. So you basically, wrap it or tie um yeah you wrap it around and then it has a button and then it has this tie waist and it's just so cute so i got that then i got this pair of oh i got two pairs of polka dot pants and a polka dot top love the polka dots for spring so they're very light weight material um i got this in a medium as well for 55 dollars and they're a nice high-waisted pant, very light and breezy. So you can take that into the summer as well. And um, they have this drawstring waist. So very comfortable, yet kind of effortlessly chic. Love that. 
Then I got another pair of polka dot pants. These are um, a much larger polka dot. And these are also um, a high waisted, but like a kind of like a, they have like this type of an ankle, um, kind of like, I don't know, quite cropped, but I did get these in a medium as well for $65. I find with Zara sizing, if it's a high waist, I can fit into a medium, but if it's not, then I'm gonna have to slip into large or depending on how much like, especially with things like drawstrings and whatnot, I can probably get away with the medium, but sometimes not. Okay, this guys, there's a metallic pant trend going around. These are a pair of cargos. Um, these are also very high waisted. Um, these were kind of pricey. They were $100. I got, got them in a medium, but I just think they're going to be so chic. And I'm super excited to wear those. Then I got, okay, sorry, I tried these on. So they're inside out, but I got this striped t-shirt looks like this it's really fun um this i got in a large for 30 dollars. oh do i want to tell you how i'm planning on wearing all these items mm. okay yeah i don't remember what i was gonna wear the striped one with but if i come across it i'll show you then i got this other kind of t-shirt but it's not like it's, it's like almost like a sweatshirt material, but it's a t-shirt and it's like brown, I guess, but it has this like tie waist and it kind of makes it look a lot more chic than just like a sweatshirt t-shirt, you know? Um, and I got this in a large as well for $30 as well. I don't remember what I was going to wear that with. If I, okay. So this, oh yes, this t-shirt I got to wear with those um, polka dot pants, like the ones with the smaller polka dots um, with the drawstring waist. It's just a white t-shirt, but it has like these really cute details on the sleeve. And Zara makes really good like plain t-shirts, very good quality. Again, I got this in a large, this was $27 and it's just a white t-shirt, but it has this like really pretty metallic um detailing on the little sleeves so that's gonna look really cute with these pants i think so that's what i'm going to be wearing that with let's put that together so i don't forget oh my gosh then i got so excited oh this i think i was gonna wear with this skirt this top i loved so much um i got this in a medium for 45 dollars this is a wrap top, long sleeve, but it's cropped and it's so cute. I don't know if I'm doing it justice here, but it's like a wrap top. I was going to wear this with that skirt that I got. I think I only got the one skirt. It's going to look so cute together. So I got that as a little outfit. Then, oh, okay, some accessories. So I finally, I really wanted one of those really small little like shoulder bags, but um, what I've struggled with is I wanted a shoulder bag that possibly could also be like a crossbody just in case. I have little children, so sometimes this is just not ideal for me. I need to like switch over to a crossbody and it's in like a silver and I just thought it was so fun. It has all these like extra little pockets. So cute. So I'm really excited about this. Oh, how much did I get this for? Does it even say where's the price tag? No, I don't even know where the price tag is. Sorry. Got that. Okay, then shoes. I got three pairs of shoes, one little pair of kitten heels, and two pairs of flats. These I love so much. They're just a pair of flats, but they have like a, what is this called? Like a slingback, and they're pointy. They're so fun. Um... These are not leather, um, and I got these for $60. Now, I got these in a 38. I'm usually a 39, 39, yeah, in, Zara, uh, in general in life, but at Zara, I find that you have to try their shoes on because sometimes a 39 is either too small or too big. Sometimes I have to size down to a 38. Sometimes I have to size up to a 40. In this case, I had to size down because the 39s were just too big, and this part was, like, really loose. So definitely try the shoes on before you buy. Um, and then if you're buying online, like you just never know. So then I got these for $60 as well. And these are also not leather, they're flat. 
and they have like a tie thing. They're also like a black pair of croc um, pointy toed flats. And I got these in a 40. So there you go. <laughs> these were too small in a 39. I had to size up. My foot was like coming like off this part. So it was just, it's just weird. And then these, did I get, what size did I get these in? Oh yeah, so these I got in a 40 as well. So th these were too small in, in a 39. These are leather. Um, these were $90. So that's what I find with their shoes is what you're paying for is the quality of the material. But these are a pair of like little heels that you tie up. So cute, love those. So that's it for accessories. Um, then I got this like little t-shirt blouse. The material is just so luxurious feeling. I forget what I was going to wear this with. Um, don't remember. If I get to it, I will mention it. I got this in a medium. This was $45. Just a really beautiful little blouse. The material is so gorgeous. Um, then I got... Again, if I remember, I'll just bring it up. Got this little like cropped t-shirt with a mock neck and it has this like ruching on the side. It's quite flattering. This I got in a medium for $30. It almost looks like it's gonna go into a bodysuit because of the ruching. Um, okay, then I got this. So this is kind of like for transition because like where I am, spring isn't like, spring sometimes it feels like winter so i got this like very light little like sweater like a mock neck sweater just to wear when it's a little chillier um i got this in a medium this was 45 dollars, and i got this to pair with oh sorry with this bigger <laughs> the bigger polka dot pants i just thought this was gonna look really cute together as well that's gonna be really cute and what else do I have for outfits? Oh my god, this is so cute. This is like from their like seamless collection, which I feel like are like skims dupes. This is a, um, it's a long sleeve off the shoulder top. In this like, it's not olive green, it's like, um, I don't know what color they, this is, but it's in, they, the seamless collection I believe comes in like two sizes, extra small, small, or medium large. So I got this in a medium large. For $27 and it's really cute and it came out with so many colors so that... oh this is the t-shirt that I got to wear with those silver pants so I got this t-shirt and again their t-shirts are not just your standard t-shirts they're very high quality very chic looking this has a roll neck like a turtleneck top and the sides are like look like this um, I got this in a medium for $27. So this is going to look so good with those silver pants. Can you just imagine it? Love. Okay. Then I got, oh yes. So let me tell you what I was going to pair the, um, that little blouse that I was showing you the, with the really beautiful material this one that I love so much I'm gonna pair it with these pants that I also got and these have a stretchy waistband I did get these in a large although I didn't need to I get, could have gotten them in a medium but I don't think they had them in a medium these were $45 and they're just so comfortable they have a flare bottom and I think with this little blouse it's just gonna look so chic so really excited about that then I have two more pairs of pants. Now, I don't remember what I was gonna pair with what. I don't remember now. Oh goodness. Um, I think I was gonna pair this with something. Or was it one of those? Um, maybe it was this t-shirt. So I got this t-shirt in this I guess it's an olive like hunter green kind of color I got this in a medium for $27 it's just a cute little t-shirt and then I got two more pairs of pants in these like printed materials that are very lightweight these I got in a medium for um, $65 they they're high-waisted and they have like a 
normal closure, but they, they just fit so nicely. And they have a flare bottom as well. They're very lightweight, so they can transition into the summer quite easily. And then last but not least, I got a pair of drawstring pants in a very similar material. Um, these I got in a medium. Oh, don't, don't know how much these were, but just really fun. And I don't remember what I was going to pair with what. Anyways, guys, that was my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please comment down below what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.